Hello, hello everyone and welcome to the first volume of Creative Sessions with Kids and Adults. In the first one we are going to recreate the masterpiece of Kandinsky. The title is uh, Squares with Concentric Circles. What should we need for this uh, session? We will need to have some watercolor paper. It would be ideally to have it because it absorbs better water. But if you have, mm, if you don't have watercolor paper, it's fine. No worries about it. You can use any type of paper. And in this case, I'm going to use an A4 type, but you can use a bigger one, or you can use, for example, newspaper paper or anything you have at home. So don't you worry. What more do you need? You need some watercolor paint, or in this case, we can also use watercolor brushes or different kinds of pens and pencils and in the case that you have watercolor paint you will need to have a jar can and as well a glass of some water and different types of brushes to do easy, more easy the process. First step, put your favorite play music list so you can enjoy of the process. Second step, get your paper shelf and just fold it in a half. It doesn't really matter if it's lengthwise or otherwise because it, you will have exactly the same uh, result. And then you can fold it again in thirds. And you will have four squares to paint. Third step. Get your crayons, or in this case, watercolor pencils, and start doing your circles. They don't need to be perfect, so don't you worry, just enjoy and be creative. It would be lovely if you do each one of them in different colors, so you can see different tones, and you can play a little bit more with shades and extra. Do it as you feel, do not try to do anything that you're not feeling, just enjoy the process. If you are using water color brushes like me, you will need to let them dry to do the fourth uh, step. Fourth step. As you can see, now the circles are done and it's time to do all the background. You can use watercolor brushes and it will be nice if you paint each one of the squares in different colors so you can see more contrast and you can play with all the colors and shapes. So done! As you can see, the project is finished, but you can also see here, because I was using just watercolor brushes, that the color is not really nicely. So for this reason, I said that it's better if you use the circles with crayons and then you use color, um, watercolor brushes or watercolor paint to do the end. And then you can just add any details that you want. For example, you can see this one is more detailed than the other ones, and I will just start doing exactly the same that I did with the blue uh, circles. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy it and see you in the next creative sessions for kids and adults. Have a lovely day.